Hello and welcome back to Adobe Hello. Live. I'm here with Steven Zhu and I am your host, Christine Arth. We are here doing editorial design today and Steven Zhu has been working on an awesome phenomenology project. Yes. Part of your thesis, but also just part of yeah. your like research and you know research personal journal. love. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it's all about phenomenon, so. Before we get into that, we are going to look at a couple things today. We've already had a really busy schedule. This morning we were live with Barbara, and it was day three with Barbara, so we're sad to say goodbye, but we're also happy because we can rewatch that anytime. Uh, we were just on with Kendall Henderson, and um, now we're up with Steven Zhu, and we are gonna be checking out new theme songs for him shortly. I'll be singing one. Okay. And then at 1.30, <laughs> Ozzy is back, and she'll be hosted by Gus Martin. So stick with us for the rest of the day. It's gonna be great. Um, we also have chat and win, so don't forget, if you're in chat, you have the chance to win. And all that, all you have to do is like be present. And Moo, we're giving away a Moo hardcover notebook today, so it's gonna be a really awesome win. Um, and then I would say that, don't forget, it's portfolio review. So Ooh, we get to review yeah. some awesome portfolios today. Uh, so if you look at the portfolio review tab to the right of your screen, you can see that if you submit your portfolio, Steven Zhu will actually take some time later today and go over what's working, what's not, and suggestions on how to make it better and stronger. So it's pretty awesome. Cool yeah. day, right? Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. So, Steven, why don't we hop on your computer and we can go over what we've done over the last two days. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, just kind of looking over the brief again once more, one more time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, one more time. Like, one just, more time. you know, one more yeah. time. So, you know, getting us back to the on track of like what we're doing. Mm -hmm. um, so, yes, uh, yeah, we're creating this journal um, that kind of organizes and visualizes uh, this research that I've been doing for the last two months or so. I love it. Yeah. Phenomenology. So the topic, mm -hmm. if those of you who don't know what phenomenology is, it's the study of phenomenons. Yes. It's Pretty our, awesome. Our uh, experiences and consciousness in relation to things happening as themselves. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Things so. happening as themselves, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like no, us. I think the idea was that, <laughs> like, the idea was that, like, um, we tend to associate um, meanings and, um, yeah, associations with uh, visual things. You yeah. Know, like signs and symbols. We kind of live in that world. Totally. Um, so, phenomenon is just, like, um, looking at something as a self. I love it. No other attachments. Steven Zhu, you're so deep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I don't know. <laughs> Don't know about that. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so um, looking at our sections, so we will try to do our best to finish everything amazing, today. Amazing, amazing. Um, so yes, uh, yesterday we kind of uh, worked on, we have some covers here. Um, we have a couple of options. And then we worked on some uh, layouts, like a forward. Uh, some content, a uh, table of contents, um, and a few, you know, uh, layouts for the uh, uh, sections uh, two to three. I, I love it, yep. Um, this was such a great spread from yesterday. It's like one of my favorites already. Yes, thank you. Um, I kind of uh, decided to go with the dark gray, actually. <laughs> I, I like, know, I love it, I though. Like, yeah, dark gray is where it's at. Yeah, you it know kind what? of has I like a it. nice you're contrast. Like, you're like, look, I'm the designer here. <laughs> I'll do what I want. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, last night also kind of like went back and fidgeted with, uh, mm -hmm. went back and fixed some things, uh, and uh, looking at our brief kind of got us more up to speed with what we're <laughs> doing. So no, there'll be a awesome. few more uh, spreads, but yeah. we'll go through them and kind of like give you guys a breakdown of like what um, is going on. Uh, actually, now looking at this, I might even just go in and um, go in and edit. You're like, I'm just gonna edit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, always, and you know, when you're you already look, starting to design. You're like, you, I just can't help myself. When you look back, you're just like, oh, I should change this, see what that looks like. I want to try like italic, <laughs> just to see. You know. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh. I was like, all right, yeah. Hey, Robert, what's up? Hello. We've got Robzilla out there. What's up, best yeah. friend? BFF, BFF. <laughs> 7up Design, Anna, Kevin, Hector, Michael, Norvell, welcome everybody, Hello. Bojana. That's right, we've got a lot of people out in chat today. So if you're just joining us, we are here with Steven Zhu. 
And I have a yes. new theme song for you. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready for this. You're not ready? Okay, we're not ready yet. I think I'll reveal it around chat and wind time. How okay. about that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so good. You're like, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm still thinking. Yeah. All right, so yeah. tell us, what are you doing now? But we haven't even gone through the whole brief yet. Yeah, have we? Uh, Your whole brief? No. Well, Not should, we, should we go back? Well, I liked that you showed a little bit of your inspiration. Can you show everyone okay. your inspiration yeah. in the brief of what you used to get started? Yeah. Yeah. I was this kind page, of uh, yeah. looking at sort of a contemporary like design, you know, style, you know, sensibility. Totally. I'm um, also looking at some of the like Swiss postmodern, if you will. Totally. A little Dada in there. Yeah. You're like, yeah. Da -da -da. Kind of like. You know, mm -hmm. with the idea of the grid and but making it, yeah. using it in a very playful way. And looking back, so yeah. if you're looking at um, this, the far, yeah, that one mm -hmm. right there, you can kind of get the sense of like where you're pulling some visual inspiration for the yeah. cover with the circles. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I think yeah. that it might not be like inherent, it's like in your mind, you know, because even you were surprised. <laughs> yeah. You're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I think it's really cool to see the connections mm. of, you know, it doesn't look anything like yours, mm. but you can see the connection. And I think that's the idea of putting together mood boards. So yeah. it's great to see where you started and what yeah. got you inspired and how you've sure. actually parlayed that into your own design and style. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So oh, then your color palette. Color, yeah. yeah. Canary mustard. Canary mustard. So these are the covers. I kind of. Oh, did you totally delete that one? <laughs> no, <laughs> I was like, but I didn't. You're like, didn't I'm not really showing like, it anymore because yeah. I don't like it. And I'm like, what? Or just I go love with that. these options, but yeah, yeah, no, it's cool. I mean, yeah. I don't want it to be the one that wins, but it's okay. cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was I a good love exercise. it, but I hate it. <laughs> it was a good exercise. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, now looking, uh, jumping into the actual publication itself, like, uh, this is how far we got, I think, yesterday. Yeah. Um, Ooh, showed in preview mode, it always looks yes. so big and beautiful. Yes! So, uh, cover, we still kind of have a few options. Um, and then we have a forward. Mm -hmm. Um, I broke it down into, like, just the two paragraphs, each on its own. I love it. Um. It's so simple. And then a nice, um, table of contents. Yes. I kind of like shifted up the numbers a bit. Ooh. The idea is that, you know, that's the first page and then the content and then another page. Achoo. It's not really on the same line. Yeah, sorry, yeah. I had yeah. to sneeze. I was like, oh. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is beautiful. I really love the way that you've broken out contents, mainly because we talked about it yesterday and it's a, it's a word that everybody knows, so it's right. easy to break apart and I think it's when there's words that are so long or when they're so difficult to oh, yeah. read already when people like hyphenate them in a million different ways that it makes yeah. it hard to communicate. So this is a right. this is the right choice and the right time to use it. It's yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. Use hyphens in like creative ways are yeah. always interesting. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean like I'm not opposed to it. Yeah. I just yeah. like when I can also understand it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So then moving on, we have this spread here, um, our first like content page, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, and we have a nice like quote uh, on the right side, um, broken up using kind of ellipses mm -hmm. um, because it's a long quote. Um, yeah. But we still want to show the quote in a kind of a big type. Totally. So this is kind of like it's the result. It's a great that way to break up a large up. Yeah. quote. I mean, I mm -hmm. haven't seen it done. So it's really fun <laughs> yeah. to see that cool. as, a, as a new style. Yeah. Um, and then moving on, we have the spread that we uh, kind of worked on yesterday as well. Um, kind of just added in the little description of mm -hmm. the picture. Um, oh, I like that line you added in there. Right? Subtle <laughs> details, man. Yeah. Details in the mm -hmm. making. That's nice. Was yeah. that some like late night design inspiration? You're just like, I know. Oh no, I kind of, <laughs> you know, it's nice to have like bars. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I have, yeah, like, yeah. A, no, I like it. Yeah. You're like, I have a bar thing. <laughs> yeah, I do have a bar thing. I like it's, this. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then with, I think with all the ca captions or all the um, picture descriptions uh -huh. or commentary, we use like a different typeface. Beautiful. So to differentiate mm -hmm. ourselves um, and a slightly smaller size. 
because this is here is the main information. Totally. Right? Yeah. It's really, I think, again, for those of you who are watching along, yesterday someone had asked, can you give us editorial tips? Three of them specifically right now. And it's like, yeah. well, I think if you're watching Steven Design, he's yeah, like, now here we go. Right? Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Now, like to differentiate the, yeah. the tips. I think this mm. is great. Differentiating the type, I mean, yeah. to emphasize or de emphasize mm -hmm. and also to call out that it's different area of um, information. information. Yeah. yeah. Always give like hierarchy um, totally. to information. So good. Yeah. So legit. <laughs> there you go. Yes. So then, you know, uh, last night I was thinking, you know, I really kind of want to wrap this up today. So mm -hmm. it was like, I uh, You're like, kind of, because it's like the last day. Yes. You're like, if you wrap it up tomorrow, no one will know. Yeah. So I kind of like snuck in like a few extra uh, spreads <laughs> yeah, last it. night. It was like, uh, You're like, I'm going to finish yeah. this, guys, and we're yeah. going to be here and do it together. Always do your homework. Always yeah. do your homework. That's Show right. up with more than people expect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a great tip, actually. Yeah, totally. Like, give your clients like low ex that's expectations. That's right. Low expectations, then, and then shoot for the moon, yeah. Like a lot of A hundred percent. I would do that with my parents growing up. I'd be like, yeah, I think I got a C on that test. And I'd be like, yeah. I, I, I feel like got I got a. an A, but then if I get a B, they won't be so disappointed. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, shoot low. So then uh, moving along, I was like, you know, this is the oh, next thread uh, talking about Donald Judd as the yeah. second sort of inspiration that I had. Yeah, Sneaky I'm just Steven. Jump in. And Doing this at night. I love it though. Gosh, it looks so good. I have this always. Um, I like to have the artists on themselves and in bold. Mm -hmm. um, Give them the just, credit. Yeah. 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 Love um, it. Same here. Uh, Kanan Richardson is asking where do you get these fabulous photos? So these are just uh, images uh, I found during from my the research. Artists? Yeah. yeah. From the artists, uh, sometimes from the galleries or museums. Mm -hmm. Um, the important thing is always to credit, of course. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. We totally talked and covered about credit and fair mm. rights and usage and copyright in the very first uh, show this week with Steven mm. Zhu. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about that, it's kind of a 101 on what to do and what not to do when you're yes. yeah. citing and uh, using imagery for research publication purposes. So yes. you can replay that in the replay button. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And uh, also in this um, booklet, we'll at the very end, we'll include an actual uh, bibliography. And oh man, and yeah you will. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah you will. You're like, yeah. yes. <laughs> so, so good. <laughs> yeah, um, and I was thinking, you know, last night I was like, um, this here uh, mm -hmm. section on the bottom right, that, that's sort of, um, again, this is the end of this very section. Mm -hmm. um, and so I kind of wanted this paragraph specifically on the end of, you know, bottom nice. right. Nice. To differentiate from give it uh, a little bit the of commentary. That, yeah, yeah. It's just shift it in just enough. Right. I thought you did that so that I could be in front of it without, you know, it like getting behind me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. Yeah, totally. You're like, yeah, totally. I did. I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Always claim things that you like do. Yeah, right. <laughs> unintentionally. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hi, Artem, Anna, Brian, Michael Roos is back. Oh Hello. man, great lineup today. You guys yeah. are just lovely to see you guys. I'm glad you're here, Chad. Cool. Yes. yes. So good. Moving along. Moving <laughs> along. Oh! Next section, sort of, you know, same Whoa. styling. Oh, yeah. Same style, but I kind of, because philosophical is such a long word, mm -hmm. I kind of just like. Again, yeah. no hyphenation because it's a long no. word. I like this. Yeah. Good choice, Steven Zhu. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, yeah, same styling as the early, you know, yep. um, yeah, it's headlines. Awesome. Uh, and here also, um, we won't need to worry about the middle mm -hmm. because this is a saddle stitch. Totally. You won't lose that much. And um, it's an H, so it mirrors right. itself. It kind of feels yeah. like it's the right point to break it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a different thing when it's like something like a perfect bound where you uh, kind of lose a lot in the mm -hmm, middle. Mm -hmm. um, but in this case, we're, yeah. I think we're fine. It'll be flat open. Plus, it's really fine paper, so yes, yes. there'll be no like uh, no tension. Sickness. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and also here, I already had this graphic uh, mm -hmm. from before, so I just kind of added it in. Um, it kind of is like a way, a look at the way we look at the world, which is cool. kind of what um, this section is about. Very cool. Um, kind of adding some imagery there um, because this is quite a lot of text. As well. Love it. Love yeah. it. So then um, moving on, it's sort of, um, so this is the third section, I believe. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Oh, so we have... So we have here... Two more sections? 
Yes. 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 And we're doing this today. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so good. I do. I do. Yeah. You're like I just had to do one section, you know, and like show yeah. you guys what I can do when you're not watching me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, there, there's so actually. Much. Yeah. <laughs> you're like yeah. Sure. There's, totally. There's some more, actually. I know. I'm yeah. so. Oh, is there more? Yeah. Show me more. Yeah. Show us okay. more, right, Chad? So then, uh, moving on to Whoa. the actual. Yeah. Yeah, you did. This is actual, fantastic. Um, Connecting people. the dots. Yes. hundred percent. I really still like that idea. So mm -hmm. kind of, um, you know, including that into each of these um, points of like uh, each person and each of their philosophies, mm -hmm. um, all the way to like. Um, kind of again, this is wonderful. where I am right now. Um, all of this is really like my read into their theory mm -hmm. too, and I'm not like an expert in it by any means. But you know, these are just kind of key points that I really liked. Yeah, uh, to really illustrate nice the point. Done. And then, what type are you using there on the left? That's uh, horizontal oh, or vertical. Yes, Sorry. yes, this is uh, founders again. Founders again. Yeah, yeah. It's so yeah. different when it's uppercase. I love it. It's yes. very wonderful. So then again, yeah, mixing the two, this is in a type still. Mm -hmm. um, keeping our body copy the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, People are loving this spread. Thank you. Yeah. So good. Um, and then just, yeah, some quirky <laughs> imagery. <laughs> like this is um, Descartes' um, drawing from oh, back yeah, in the, the day. Oh yeah, the eyeballs. Yeah, like, how we yeah. relate to objects and Yes, like I that. love that drawing. Yeah. It's always yeah. like, ah, yes, that's my brain in there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where's my skeleton? Such a wacky Whoa. little drawing, yeah. <laughs> So love funny. It. Love it. So good. Um, yeah, so this line um, I kind of just drew with the pencil tool in uh -huh. here. <laughs> kind of like using the direct selection to like fiddle with it and uh, totally. kind of got this line. The idea is that when you flip the page, you kind of continue it mm -hmm. here. And then again, this is sort of like, how do you relate to the world? You know, I love it. because um, all of these people are talking about different, their theories are similar, but they're different. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, the question is like asking yourself like, how do you, how do I relate to the world? How do yeah, you to the world? this is fantastic. Yeah, it really does have that similar projection, especially when you look back at the spread that you did with the eye and how it's, mm. um, you know, uh, three dimensionally. Right. Yes, exactly. The perspective of that feels like it's similar to the one that you just drew for the dot enlarging. So yeah, it all starts to relate together, even the Descartes image. Mm -hmm. So very good. One nice. Into another. This is yeah. pretty awesome. Okay, yes. is there any more? Yes. What? <laughs> You're so sneaky, Steven. I have to change your theme song. Oh my okay. gosh. Yeah. Hi, Alexi. Hi, Norvo. Hi, Anna. I was trying to get us up to speed. You're getting us up to speed. I yeah. like this. Yeah. I like this. Yeah. <laughs> I think it would be helpful too to kind of like look at some style. Break down. Yeah, yeah, break it down. Break yep. it down. Yeah. We're going to break it down yeah. musically. We'll also mm -hmm. work on a lot, like the ending too. So mm -hmm. everybody worked. loves your design. Bojana you. loves it. Thank you. So good. Yes. So then the next section, uh, using a different color. Mm -hmm. um, a little modern art. Yeah, modern art. A uh, little mm -hmm. introduction with a little bar action again. Mm -hmm. um, this time, kind of creating a frame. Um, and then, yes. So a bit more text here. I might change that a little bit more um, as we go. And then uh, I think this might be the last. Is like some ooh. quotes from oh mm -hmm. this. <laughs> I was like, ooh, this one like, looks like it might not be done yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, not done yet. But yeah, but this is sort of like um, starting with uh, Malevich and his like wonderful quotes. I found these Fantastic. super powerful. Yeah, you know, um, and especially really the frame, uh, framing both of them differently like this. Yeah, it's very modern. Mm -hmm. And kind of like taking inspiration from his work too, mm -hmm. is like, you know, the black square or something like Completely. that. It's like very like in your face, but it's also. Chat is yeah. loving this. Thank I'm you. loving this. We're all loving this. We all love Steven Zhu. Thank we you. love you, Steven. This is the best. So good. Yeah. And Sneaky. I just, yeah. I just love this picture of him. I do too. It's just like, what? <laughs> well, yeah. he's not posed, but he feels posed. Oh, yeah. But he's not looking at the camera, so no, it's very, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Also, I kind of like this being this small is also related to the fact that it's a low resolution image. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so, so Kevin it, has a great question. How yeah. do you keep the flow of the spreads and pages balanced? Like, do you define page types and styles? 
I don't actually.、Uh, mostly just by feeling. By <laughs> feeling. Of, yeah. Like、mm-hmm. if you were a reader, you know, how would you feel? Is this too much information, or、yeah. is it?、Um, do you need a breaking spread, or、mm-hmm. you know, like a? Yeah. Do you need calming, a moment yeah, to rest? To, to rest. Yeah. 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 Like are your eyes just going crazy because you're like, oh, I've been reading so much, and now I need a moment to、right. just look at an image or、mm-hmm. see some negative space. Yeah. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. For sure. So yeah, I think now we jump into. Oh, I have actually one more. <laughs> I don't know. At one point, you're like, I just, oh, you're like, I, I have one more. Yeah. At one point, it's like you can't stop. You know? Yeah,、it's、right. Like, yeah, like, you just、yeah. want to keep going. We were talking about this at lunch. We're like, yeah, yeah. yeah I was up to like 11:40, and I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> where is the time gone? And you're like, me too.、Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, continue. So this section is really talking about a lot of the artists and、mm-hmm. their work. So this section is like showing another three artists. And、so、one、good. particular and another、um, kind of, the, and then the commentary as well. I love that、uh, yeah. Joseph Albers painting. Oh yeah, is so good. I'm a huge fan. Yeah, yeah.、Um, this one's interesting too. Is、uh, Kirk Schwitters?、Mm-hmm. Um, his、uh, early installation、uh, called Mutzbau. Yeah, so、um, good. Yeah, Mutzbau, doing Mutzbau. it. Mutzbau. <laughs> very Dada. Yeah, yeah, very Dada. Yes. So yeah, let's、uh, work on. Yeah, that's the last. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, I think、um, I might even break this up a bit. I think this is too much text, also.、Um, also, because I kind of so this was like one of the quotes I selected from、uh, Malevich's、um, manifesto of、mm-hmm. separatism. He has a lot of great ones. I might even do another one.、Um, let's see. Oh, someone said they caught、yeah. a typo. Is this supposed to be he or B? I think they said it should be B. Everything has vanished. There remains a mass of material from which the new forms、he. will he built. Yeah, it was、oh. he because he also、um, does do like, you know, back in the day everything was man and he. So I, I did, you know, wanted to like change that. Yeah, you're like I'd like to change that,、like、but that was an actual quote. Yeah. So yeah. But、um, good, good. Good guess though, or good、uh, yeah. suggestion, Susana. Thank you.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> always looking out. Chat's always looking out. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Amazing. Yeah, I might grab、uh, this last one here. It's really interesting. So. Cool. In the year 1913. Ooh,、yeah. I love it when it starts out like that. In the year. 1913. Yeah, this one's so powerful. Yeah. In the year 1913, trying to desperately. I tried desperately, desperately to free art from the dead weight of the real world. I took refuge of the, in the from, from the square. square. I love that. It's just like so powerful. It is. Yeah. And because squares are so plain. Oh yeah. You know,、yeah. it, there's a lot of. Like, it's almost like a haiku. There's so much meaning in that sentence. <laughs> For sure. Oh man, Steven Z, we're gonna get super deep. For those of you who are also excited about this square, get excited about Chat and Win. That's a segue for you. Chat and Win is going to be happening in about six and a half minutes, and as long as you're in the chat, you have the chance to win a Moo hardcover notebook. So get ready yeah, for it. That's great. Mm-hmm. I love this. Might do italic again. Yeah, Actually, Moo notebooks. Actually, let's see if this how that looks in italic. Ooh, that font is so lovely in italic. Right. Yeah. I might keep that. I don't know. Although I think it's a lot with the、uh, large passage. Right. Yeah. Might not do that. I feel like I liked it better before. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Always、nice. take care of those hyphens. <laughs> Got to take care of the hyphens. Yeah. <laughs> They like their maintenance. Mhm. Mhm. Yeah. Cool. Super good.、Uh, we might move this up a bit、uh, to this spread instead. Mhm. Cool. So we're gonna be creating the next chapter, right? Yes. Nice. For those of you who are just joining us, we have Stephen Zhu here, and he is an editorial designer, and he's、eat、working on. Eat more chicken. On, <laughs> What is eat that? Eat more chicken. I think because Moo is a cow, cow named Moo.、Uh, <laughs> You're like eat more chicken. You're like, what is that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I just looked up. Like, what is happening? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Keep keep your head down.、Steve. Keep your head down. <laughs> <laughs> keep working. Keep working. Don't look up. Do、yeah. um, <laughs> I make sense of this? <laughs> <Yeah> . What's going to be great is when we replay this and you see yourself、uh, when there's no、oh、chat、gosh. next to it. And you're like, eat、yeah. more chicken. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you yeah. just kind of call it out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> this is so funny. Welcome Sean Kelly and Axel Joseph. Jelena S. Amazing. Love seeing some new names and some repeat offenders. Yeah. That looks okay. Oh, I love this. It's lovely. Again, breaking this. Modern art and the phenomenological outlook. Yes. Phenomenological. Gosh, that's a hard one to say. It's good. Yeah, that's a, that's a long word. I like this. You're challenging my vocabulary during our segment. That's great. Yes, you're challenged. It's <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> Yes, I think I might even uh, create another spread here. Um, I have another image by Malevich um, here, the actual exhibition. Mm hmm. Could be good to show. Very cool. Um, Kevin Schneider has a question yeah. How do you deal with creative blocks and how do you stay focused? Uh, just, I think mostly it's good to kind of take your mind off whatever you're doing. Like, if you're always in design, mm -hmm. um, it can be kind of, you can burn out. Totally. Um, but if you do a, a variety, um, get some other kinds of inf uh, inspiration, um, and then going back to something, then you get new ideas. Yeah. yeah. I agree. Taking some time away from your computer, uh, having conversations with people, you know, walking out in nature, being outside. Sure. A lot of good things. Two and a half minutes until chat and win. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I wonder who's gonna be the winner. I wonder if I could guess before the bot guesses. In, yeah, right? That would be really, I feel like I could have some telepathic abilities. It would be a yeah. phenomenology, <laughs> a phenomenon. <laughs> this is lovely. So whose work is this? This is still um, a Leavage. Got it. Yeah, the actual exhibition itself. Nice. So this one, he was in front of it mm -hmm. and only showing a partial, um, it's a, only a partial image. Mm -hmm. uh, this one was actually the famous sort of um, shot of the, the full most of the work the, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, and showing that because here it's still talking about this so we might we just add that in nice um, I'm kind of liking how empty this spread is <laughs> actually compared to you know these other ones mm -hmm. so I think I'm gonna go with I that. like it too yeah. it's very nice I'm kind of just pairing like everything in the middle. Yeah, sort of. well, it's becoming like the shapes of the work itself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Squares, rectangles, mm -hmm. very modern. Mm -hmm. So then, uh, yeah, moving on to, so we have this one here. Uh, let's see, from our copy, who is next? We did Schwitters. Next is Larry Bell. Amazing. Great stuff. Larry Bell. Larry Bell. Good old Larry Bell. Ringing the Larry Bell. Let's see, we have a couple of images by him. Um, you know, this one Ooh, is amazing. Beautiful. Um, yeah. Yes. Have you ever heard of um, Liam Gillick? No. He's another good artist that does oh, this okay. uh, modularity, um, similar mm. but different, obviously. Yeah. Um, really cool stuff. You should check that out. It's in the similar space. Yeah. But maybe not in phenomenology space, the more just like, like great modern art and spatial art. Okay. Yeah deals with like perception and things like that. Slightly, yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, and some neons. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I so try cool. Try like a full bleed here. Ooh, yeah. Gosh, I love these images. Ooh. That's beautiful. Okay. That's done. Move, move on, move on. <laughs> okay. I was like, this one's too good to mess with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So cool. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, I love keeping that. Actually, uh, Brianna says she loves the bar of white, the space. Yeah. This is the bar. Yeah, me too. Or I might try having this as well. No. 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 I liked it better before. 
<laughs> I'm just gonna I'm try like, things. No, no. Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yep, just to get a page number in there. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Okay, I agree. I do also want to include the. <laughs> okay, it's title. time for chat oh. and win. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, everyone. Tell us if I should sing the theme song or not for Stephen too. <laughs> go. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> All right, we got a lot of yeses, and when I say a lot, I mean two. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'm gonna have to sing it, Steven. Okay. I was thinking about this last night, and I was like, oh my hmm, gosh. okay, there's some rhyming action going on. Steven Zoo, he's 22. Oh, Sometimes okay. he goes by Steve <laughs> too. <laughs> That's great. Oh my God. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I think I messed it up. I had it about it. It was better in my mind. It was better in my mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think, oh, there, there it goes. Okay. He goes by Zoo. He's 22. Sometimes he calls him Steven, too. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's kind oh. of a rhyme, I know. But yeah. yeah, pretty much it's like, yup, he's only 22, everyone. He is a prodigy. Oh, gosh. <laughs> You're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness, Jelena S is the winner. Congratulations, Ooh, yes. Jelena. That means that you yeah. have a book from, hardcover notebook from Moo. Yeah. That's awesome. That's Sorry great. for you guys who didn't win, but you're also winners because Moo is giving us a 15% off discount. If you go to moo.com adobe, or backslash adobe live, you can see it on the screen right there. Um, <laughs> Moo is great because they give you lots of uh, amazing templates and amazing ways to bring your own stationery and ideas to life through beautiful, uh, beautiful examples of business cards, stationery, pretty much everything that you want to have printed. Mm -hmm. So congrats, yeah. Jelena. And sorry I had to sing that song. <laughs> no, it was great. I appreciate it. I think your theme song from yesterday was way better, but you know, really? now you have two. Mm. That's good. <laughs> I made Gus Bot laugh, so that was worth it. <laughs> He's still snickering back there. I didn't know robots could snicker. <laughs> yeah, now you have two. You can thank me later. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Did I say that? I totally didn't realize. <laughs> So pulling in some more copy? Uh, this one is just the credit for the image, just so we know what we're looking at. Nice. Uh, the title of the work. Uh, amazing. Smoke on the bottom. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing how he does these glass works, um, and it just sort of like disappears in space almost yeah. as you go into them. It's incredible. Um, but yeah. All of these two is like, um, they're way better in real life too. <laughs> it's like the, the oh, photograph. Oh yeah, I mean the photographs the can't photograph, do yeah, real can installations do. justice. It's yeah. just, yeah. Oh yeah, if you're interested in seeing Steven's work, you can check it out in the info tab on Behance right now. So if you're watching us, which you are, <laughs> all you have to do is go to the tab and click info and uh, you'll have everything about Steven right there. You can follow him. Woohoo. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> You're like, where so are we? <laughs> yeah. And don't forget, we have today's portfolio submission deadline. We've got about mm -hmm. 26 minutes. And if you want your work uh, reviewed by Steven, we have a chance to have two people to be selected for uh, portfolio reviews. And Steven will give some suggestions, comments, lots of love, feedback, and I promise he won't be mean. <laughs> You're like, I'm going to be mean. <laughs> 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 No. You're like, I'm really I love impressed it. by their work. I am too. Yeah. I'm impressed by everybody's work. Yeah. Anytime someone has the guts to put something together and put it out in the world, I mean, kudos to them. Mm -hmm. So, here, uh, because the image was so big, <laughs> we didn't have room to place the comment mm -hmm. uh, or the, yeah, the comment of the work or what it's about. Um, so we're just gonna do it in the next page. Oh, cool! I like that um, though. It's very. Um, it's Larry Bell. It's Larry Bell. 
that's Larry about so that's so Larry. <laughs> <laughs> that is so Larry. Oh man. <laughs> So then next we have Robert Irwin again and James Terrell. We're just gonna choose our image. Uh, I think I'm really interested in this one actually. Um, Ooh, yeah. that's cool. He did these um, disc paintings mm -hmm. where if you look at them in real life um, under the correct lighting conditions, um, they sort of just disappear. They have no edges to them. So good. Yeah. That's insane. So I think that's That's like Rothko. I love that about oh, his work. Yeah. I could stare at it for hours. Yeah. Were we talking about that the other day? Or was no. that someone else? I'm getting you confused with so. other people. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Hmm. Uh-oh, Tim Mobius. I'm going to have to check my Twitter after this. Obviously, it's something about my beehive. Is that right? I did this for you, Mobius. I put it up there. <laughs> Earlier in the show, this morning yeah. with Barbara, we were looking at some vintage photos and um, some of the ladies in them had beehives and I was like, I kind of want to bring the beehive back. So this is as close <laughs> as I can get, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Robzilla, if you squint at this, you're like, whoa, what's going on? The, the painting? Oh so yeah. So cool. It's yeah. so good, yeah. It's kind of like one of those, remember the paintings that were really popular? You probably weren't born yet, actually, because you're trying to. <laughs> but they were really popular. You probably have seen them or heard of them. Mm. The ones that um, you look in, and if you cross your eyes and come back out, they look like dolphins swimming, but even though it's like a... Oh, it's like an illusion. Yeah, an illusion. Yeah. yeah. It's like that. <laughs> yeah. That would be a great um, runner-up cover for this book if you yeah. want to go for, like, comic theme. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yeah. I know people are like, whoa, I can't believe that's a painting. That's so cool. Yeah, Voodoo Val, of course you remember those. You have to cross your eyes to look at them. That's the coolest part. <laughs> That's right about the time that my sister would slap me in the back and she'd be like, if I slap you hard enough, your eyes will stay crossed. And I'm like, oh Whoa! my God. <laughs> yeah, mean sister jokes, yeah. <laughs> Yes, optical illusions. Is that part of phenomenons? Optical illusions? Uh, it can be. Uh, it depends on like really the what the artist was trying to do. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of it is um, mostly a lot. Of, I think a lot of artists use them as a way to kind of suggest or just give uh, the viewers um, different kinds of interpretations. Mm -hmm. That's what they were interested in. But mm -hmm. there was no one truth, mm -hmm. there was no one singular way of, um, you know, understanding something. Uh, a lot of the uh, modern art um, is about kind of the breaking down of the hierarchies of like what is important and what is not. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So. Illusions, illusionists. Um, Christina Kaiser says, did you go to PNW College of Art? I went to uh, PNCA, PNCA. Uh, so, uh, Pacific Northwest College of Art. Oh yeah, I think yeah. Oh, okay. that's, yeah. yeah I think yeah. she acronymed it. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah totally. Yeah. I was like yeah. PNW. PNW. Cool, yeah. she's like, she's heard of that and it looks awesome. Yeah, it's a great place. Awesome. And then Nuno Moore is asking, what fonts are you using in your document? So uh, GT Cinetype mm -hmm. and Founders Grotesque. Nice, yeah. yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, Super and uh, cool. the quotes were uh, GT Sectra. Oh, a new one, yeah. GT Setra. Yes. Love it. Just to Actually, kind of love differentiate. GT. Yeah. So good. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah. Ooh, that's a really good one, Adobe Live. Try to make up a new definition for phenomenology. I love that. <laughs> this is like Balderdash. <laughs> I love that game. <laughs> Have you ever played Balderdash? No. I think that's the game I'm thinking of where you get a word or an idea and you have to make up a story or definition about it and people will guess if it's real or if it's a lie. Oh, <laughs> yeah. wow. Yeah, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. <laughs> yeah, I'm very convincing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Brianne Hadley's like, challenge accepted. I love it. <laughs> Phenom nom 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 nology. Hello, Mornier, welcome back. This painting is phenomenal. <laughs> and, I, and I really mean that. <laughs> To give our readers an idea, like this is not this painting. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is this. You're like, uh, we're talking about the one on the previous page. Yeah. Yes. So nice. But we do might. I don't know. We might just align it anyway. Mm -hmm. Just so that it looks a little bit better. Nice. Yeah. Um, Good work. Hope you guys are getting in your portfolios so that we have some awesome things to review. I'm so excited. It's one of my favorite parts of Adobe Live is when we get to review others' work, see what they're up to, ask them questions about what their ideas were and how they got to where they were. So it's cool. It's also very inspirational. Mm -hmm. And we get to go to space. Did you know that? Oh, what's happening? <laughs> You're like, what's happening? You didn't tell me about that. Oh, yeah, we're going to space. I'm taking you to space. Hence this image. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect timing, man. Perfect yeah. timing. You just nailed it. I actually knew. I don't know. You're like, I knew. You're yeah. like, you did not. No, you had I no idea. Not. I, I know. You're idea. like, oh, we're going to space. Actually, I was uh, checking out your uh, stream with Barbara early on. I uh -huh. was like, I went to get coffee and came back. I was like, what's happening? Why are they wearing helmets? <laughs> <laughs> we went to space. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're going to space too, and then we're coming back and we're going to review people's work because wow. that's how you do it. You know, at Adobe, we're Space Galaxy Quest. That's right, Christina Kaiser. <laughs> Hi, Arlie. Welcome. Good to see you back in chat. I feel like this is awesome. We've got some people out there who have joined us in most of the sessions today. So I feel like they're either learning a lot or they're not working at all, <laughs> 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 or both. <laughs> Totally, Val. <laughs> Best ever. <laughs> so one thing I haven't really seen today is a lot of times people in chat will tell us where they're uh, watching Adobe from. Oh, yeah. Let so, us know. Yeah, I'm curious. Is there anyone out there from Portland? Because Steven's from Portland right now. Yeah. <laughs> but interestingly enough, you grew up in... Where was it again? The uh, Netherlands? No, New Zealand. New Zealand, that's yes. right. New yeah. Zealand. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm originally from China, mm -hmm. uh, and I grew up in New Zealand, yeah. partially. So yeah. So Steven's been all over the place, which is awesome, because you just you can't detect an accent from anywhere, almost. Yeah. I'm sometimes like, people tell less. me. <laughs> oh, okay, interesting. Yeah. Sometimes people tell me I have like a weird accent. Like, yeah, I don't. I, don't where... I couldn't detect where. Yeah. I mean, not that I was trying to. I'm like, where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we've got Christina Kaiser from Seattle. Ooh, cool. Nice. Utah. We've cool. got South Africa. Dublin. Dublin, Sacramento. Sacramento. This is awesome. Yeah. Virginia. Oh, Kelly Sands is from Portland. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, trying to place accents is fun. If I'm with people for too long, I'll start to sound like them. Oh, yeah. Do you get for that? For sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think that's why I ended up with this accent. It's like, no accent because <laughs> no accent. it's like... <laughs> yeah, you're like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm like over-influenced by too yeah. many things. <laughs> <laughs> totally. You're like, I've spent a lot of time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Beck Nelson's watching from New Zealand. Oh, Yay. nice. Arlie in Mexico. What Bojan time is in it Serbia? in New Zealand? Wow. Yeah, cool. I, I love when people are tuning in from everywhere because right. it's such a worldly group. Me too, Ryan Ford. Oh, Ensenada, Baja, California. Nice. Cool. Ocean clothing. Hey, guys. Ocean clothing, surf naked. <laughs> <laughs> Stevens in Denver. Cool. Got a very international crew out there. Oh, 
Oh, I love that blue. Is that Eve Klein blue? Yes. It's my favorite Just color in the it. world. Yeah. There's no better color than Eve Klein blue. Yes. I will die on a sword defending that. <laughs> and I pair it with another blue by James Terrell oh, just to have yes. them together. <laughs> yes. I am yeah. right there with you, 100%. Yeah. yeah I, I would was, love uh, to roll around in that, like, the color on that floor and just be oh, like, yeah. come out of there with blue all over and be like, ah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It was yeah. really fun. I, um, the week before I came here, um, I was in the letterpress studio trying to mix my own oh, crime really? blue. So yeah. good. So very yeah. good. I love mixing paints yeah. and inks. It's so great. Oh. My actually, uh, because we already have a James Terrell up here, I'm mm -hmm. going to make this just small. You're uh, like, we don't want to give him too much space. <laughs> no, because I want to make this bigger. Totally. Uh, well, yeah, because it's Eve Klein. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're like, it's amazing. I mean, you know, we're not pulling favorites here, but <laughs> yeah. Christina, it's called uh, Eve Klein Blue after the painter Eve Klein. He yes. had uh, trademarked that paint color after yes. using it widely with most of his uh, mm -hmm. work. So it was before yeah. really, it was like the first time someone had ever done that. Yeah, so Trademarked yeah. a color for their yeah. For their no, property. but it was really well deserved too. Yes, he worked it was. with, um, I think, scientists even. He did, yes. To create that particular blue yes. and to um, have it be that color even when it's dry. Exactly. And yeah. Yep. Um, there's a there's a similar color right now that um, I think it was a NASA scientist recently had trademarked, and it's a matte black. Oh, have you seen that? No. I'll send you a link to it later, but. Um, it's a very matte black to the point where if you put, you paint it on any surface, it just looks, it completely absorbs all color and all light so that oh, it looks wow. okay. incredibly matte, almost like a black hole. Mm. You could just fall into it. It's, it's That's insane. Trippy. Yeah. Yeah. The black that sucks up light voodoo Val, you know the one. <laughs> well, they pretty much show an image where they paint half of a can mm -hmm. with the black and it looks like it's flat, even though it's a three-dimensional yeah. object. It's, it reflects and, no light at all. It, no, it yeah. sucks up everything. Yeah. There, it's, yes, it is like a Sith Lord soul. That is right Adobe Live. <laughs> Vanta Black, thank you, Anna. <laughs> Vanta Black, yeah, you can buy it and you can um, have it if you are a scientist, you can, <laughs> you can Only order it. Only a scientist? <laughs> okay. Well, I believe you have to have some sort of affiliation oh, okay. and, okay. Uh, yeah, they like can't just chemist. give it to anybody. I don't think that you can get it unless you have yeah. um, like chemist status or something. Right. Or maybe a lot of money. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's pretty insane. We have about 12 Should, more minutes yeah. until uh, portfolio reviews, so I'm getting excited. I'm like, ee, pins and needles. Eee. Gosh, that looks great. I have a jacket that's um, blue. Oh, but yeah. it's not exactly Eve Klein blue, it's more of like a Colette blue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to dye it a little bit more. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I would love to, yeah. <laughs> but I don't want to ruin it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, the Vanta black is insane. It's kind of like the invisibility cape in Harry Potter. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's so cool. <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited to see portfolios too. Woohoo! Portfolio. Portfolio, yeah. So beautiful. He's Klein. So good. Yes, Anna, you are right. Anish Kapoor is the only artist that is using uh, Vanta Black right now. Oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. I have to go back. Uh, You're, to yeah, time. right? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> yeah, I'm these. surprised I didn't think about that the first time, but this totally, when I was mm. really, I was really interested in Eve Klein maybe about 10 years ago, and I did a ton of research on him, and then this popped up maybe three years ago. 
Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, Vanta Black. And I was obsessed with it. And I was working somewhere at the time where I was trying to get one of our products that we were designing to be mm -hmm. completely submerged in Vanta Black. Cause I'm oh like, this God. would be the coolest thing ever. No one was having it. <laughs> I tried really hard to sell it, but no one was having it. So yeah, it's kind of a phenomenon. Yeah. It's like, it messes as an optical illusion. Yeah, I kind of wanted to grab this first line as a to use as a pull quote too. Mm, nice. I think that's a really nice uh, line. Mm -hmm. um, did end up creating some paragraph style or character styles for the caption or no, uh, or maybe I didn't. <laughs> okay. So Brianna uh, has a question for you, Stephen. How long have mm. you been working on this project? So the research I've been starting to do since um, like late summer, mm -hmm. um, maybe around, yeah. You'd mentioned that about two months. Yeah, we about were two months. About that yesterday. Yeah. Um, yeah, but designing it has just been since this show. Yeah. So yeah. Three, days. <laughs> three days. Three days of design, but two months of research. So mm -hmm. I think that kind of accurate really accurately reflects sometimes the process of you know like you're thinking about something for a long time so that when you're ready to do it you know the direction you're going in yeah yeah definitely And then she's also curious, how long do you usually work on a project before you decide to call it quits? Call it. Call it quits, or to, to decide it's finished. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> that's a good question. A lot of times I would just go back, yeah. like endlessly. Keep noodling? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I guess, I mean, with publication, when it's, when it's gone to print, I guess that's when mm -hmm. it's done. Yeah. 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 But a lot of it is just, um, I feel, I think, mm -hmm. if you feel like it's about done, yeah. Totally. And it's uh, accomplishing what you wanted to do. Oh, Dana has a great question. What's the difference between editorial design and publication design? Editorial is usually like scholarly or, um, you know, nonfiction or something relating to like news or information, whereas publication is any, any sort of information that is fiction or nonfiction based. And it's, they're both published, which is different, but editorial mm -hmm. is, you know, of uh, educational nature. Yes, yeah. The uh, original um, meaning for editorial is really more similar to commentary. Mm -hmm. uh, it's coming from the Pushpin Studio. Oh, if, um, yeah, yeah. They were doing these like magazine editorials that were commenting on the content in the magazine oh, itself. Oh, it's so <laughs> funny. That's yeah. clever. Yeah. They're like, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna yeah. we're gonna do a publication on editorials. Yeah. <laughs> now I mean, that was that's that was, a confusing twist. <laughs> yeah, that was the original meaning of uh, editorial, but now it's just um, yeah, yeah, whatever people call them. <laughs> well, I think that's the thing where people will confuse. It's a great question, Danny, because yeah. I think that they're often you know misused and also traded, where you know publication design is different than editorial. Yeah. But I think nowadays people kind of use them. Yeah, in, interchangeably. In, in, interchangeably, yes. Mostly, yeah. Yes. But if you're gonna get dictionary on it. <laughs> <laughs> we have about five more minutes for portfolios to be submitted. Getting very excited. Yay. I'm looking forward. Yeah, I know, me too. This will be great. Yes, so Hector next. Lira, it is a beautiful blue. It is Eve Klein's blue. Yes. Next is um, Magritte, which I thought oh, you I might like. Oh, I love Magritte, yeah. yes. I went and saw that, we were talking about that exhibit. 
Which one? Oh, you weren't. That wasn't you. That's right. <laughs> I keep thinking it's you. Well, I had all these yeah. conversations that you should have been in. Okay. Um, yeah. Magritte was here in San Francisco at the MoMA. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Like, I think it just ended maybe a few weeks ago, but yeah, it was I always miss incredible. Yeah. 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 There was just so much of his work that I hadn't seen in person. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the the bowler, which we're all familiar with, that mm -hmm. was there. Um, the, this, this one is, is one of pipe. my favorite, yeah. uh, not to be reproduced. Mm. Uh, I like it's just that. a man looking at the mirror. Yeah, <laughs> and it's still, it's still the, the back yeah, of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah. love that. Yeah. Well, it's very much like on point for today, too, because oh, it's yeah. such a selfie culture where, you know, sometimes things you just want to keep private. So that's pretty cool. I love it. Well, he did have this piece of work that is my all time favorite. I had then posted it on Instagram and I was like, this is amazing. And um, it's it's where the comb is bigger than the bed and the rug is smaller than the wine glass. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, that one. Pretty cool, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think this one particularly it speaks to the idea of um, signs and symbols. Yes. You know, uh, it kind of is talking about the paradigm of like the structure that we kind of live in of totally. signs and symbols. Oh like, yeah, we signs, symbols, and images. We ah. are defined by what we define sort of <laughs> idea. Yeah. Completely, yeah. yes. Hello, Karsten Bittner, welcome. He's like, Steven's work is so impressive. I really appreciate his clean workflow. I do too, it's very organized. Ah, oh, yes. Welcome back, everybody. I don't know if I want to in include this pipe one. I mean, it's so, yeah, it's so iconic, iconic, but it's... I'd say nah. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many better images. Well, not right. better, it's just like unseen images that uh, you don't usually get to, you don't associate with Marguerite even though they're his. Yeah. And then I'm gonna pair it with another artist that deals with linguistics, uh, which is... Uh, um, Do you Ulysses. read her? Don't read? Yeah. Who is <laughs> don't this? You love I this? love this, <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's an artist called uh, Ulysses Carrion. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's a, yeah. I didn't know that he did this. Yeah, <laughs> this it's really awesome. great. Hello, Elevon. Hello, Anil. Hello, Samrat. Welcome, everybody. For those of you who are just joining us, we are here with Stephen Zhu, and he is creating an editorial on phenomenology, the study of phenomenons. Mm -hmm. And he's representing that through a lot of modern art, which is incredible. He's also written this entire research on, well, which is your thesis, too. Yes, yeah. Yes. Oh, so good. And he's including all of his writings in here to create an amazing over 40 page uh, publication. Yes. Of editorial? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> editorial publication. Mm -hmm. An ed pub, or pub ed, if you will. Um, Moni is asking, who are your favorite designers that impact your design style? Favorite designers? There's a lot of them. Like, too many, too <laughs> <Yeah>. many. <laughs> um, let's see. I mean, when I was starting out, um, Jan Shishold was like a very important, like influential person. Interesting. Um, his philosophy with type, um, asymmetry, um, and you know, grids. But um, I think moving on beyond that, it's like, um, yeah, I think for our uh, inspiration, you know, I pulled from like Wolfgang uh, Weinkart. Oh, I um, love that. His like postmodern yeah. style is really great. Um, uh, which also kind of reminds me of um, like Ike Koenig, if you know, Ooh, you guys yeah, know who that exactly. is. Um, like These really, are some great new, um, yeah. I think, I don't know if anyone's referenced those while I've been on as a host, so mm. I think these are great new inspirational designers yeah. for you to look into, Monir. Super cool. And the best part is you can always replay Steven's last three days and get all of these tips again and again and again. Oh, Christina Kaiser's asking, what do you think, in your own opinion, what mm -hmm. do you think differentiates art from design? Oh, that's a good question. Um, so art uh, has, so design has a critical function to fulfill. I think that's the biggest uh, differentiation where art is, um, and. Uh, it's a bit more flexible. It mm -hmm. deals. Uh, it's it's a lot similar in 
uh, it's a lot similar to philosophy in a mm -hmm. way that it's about the questioning. It's about yeah, it's uh, subjective. Uh, yes, but yeah. it's also you know it's really um, you're asking questions, uh, whereas design is more about like solving a problem. Totally design communicating. Is a yeah, means to an end. Uh, whereas art is just sort of. Um, I always love yeah. that question. It's such a great, like, long debate. Yeah, yeah. We could have a whole day show on that, Christina. Yeah. I think uh, <laughs> one of the great um, definitions, I think, was uh, I pulled from Robert Irwin, I think, in here. Yeah, here we go. Um, he defines art as a continued inquiry into the potential human being uh, to perceive another world with an aesthetic bias. I, love I think that's this. a great definition. It is for a great art. definition. Um, there you have it. It's like Christina's just serving us <laughs> up. Well, we're yeah. going to take a trip out to space, wait for it, and we're going to come back Ooh. with two portfolios for our review. Wow. We'll see you in a second. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told you we went to space. Isn't this great? Oh my, God. oh my gosh. It was so awesome. We had a space ice cream. We had space coffee. Wow. We saw Voodoo Val. <laughs> <laughs> are we keeping these on or are we taking these off? I'm keep, taking yeah. mine off, I think. My hair is oh, too really? tall in it today, but you can keep yours okay. on. Sure. I'll, just, I'll just, you know, laugh at you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All yeah. right. We have two great portfolios. Um, the first one is Marina Sprana. And she's a graphic designer from Rome, Italy. Let's see. There's no more information under here. So I would say, hey, Marina, it would be great if you could tell us a little story about yourself. And then that way we can have it under here so that when people go to look at your work, they know a little bit more about you. Yeah. Awesome. So which do you want to start with? It's your choice. I don't know. We can just start with the first one. The first one. Yeah. I like that. So practical. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this first one is called Forense 2021. Mm -hmm. It's a gymnastics championship branding. So this looks like, um, yeah, branding, graphic design, and illustration. Cool. cool. I love oh, how yeah. she's got the people here as inspiration yeah. for the form and function. Also, just to set a tone of what this mm -hmm. really is, um, I think Completely. that's really good. Um, I love the color combination too. It's very bright. It's very athletic feeling. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily like uh, any specific country. So that's great. Really nicely done. Yeah. I just l also like everything like isometric too. It's like, that's kind of a mm -hmm. um, nice. These are beautiful. I also love the use of your mock-ups. I think this is really nice to mm -hmm. see the consistent color palette coming through. Very cool. And the larger use of the icon for the mm -hmm. logo. Cool. Yeah. Man, Marina, this is awesome. Whoa, what are yeah, those? Oh, oh, those, those are, are the, the, the metals. Yeah, yeah, we're both like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Cool metal idea. Although I feel like it fights a little bit with the design of the logo. I would almost rather it be the logo, like just a big logo on here versus mm. like the the uh, cut in half because it makes me think of Pac-Man. <laughs> uh. This is awesome though. Great yeah, work. Great job. Okay. What's next? We've got ooh, editorial design. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So this one is called Prima e Dopo Dinosauri. So I think it's about dinosaurs. Uh, let's see, editorial design, print design, and graphic design. Yeah. This I like that you're playing with the column uh, shape. Yeah. It's very nice. Also, I like seeing these giant chunks like oh, yeah. coming out. Oh, super cool. Almost like reference the water wave mm -hmm. lines. Yeah, yeah totally. Really nice. And it's like the shape of the turtle, the tortoise on mm -hmm. the back but also a molecular structure. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of layers to this. Yeah. Very cool. How cute. I love turtles. Mm. Any mm. thoughts? 
Yeah, great general like layout. Um, I like that you have a lot of white space um, and the texts are kind of broken up into nice digestible chunks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, I would maybe not use the hexagon shape too often mm -hmm. because it starts to become more difficult to read. So maybe not page after page. Um, and maybe keep it for like one or two examples, but maybe yeah. not too many because it starts to become repetitive. Right, yeah. Nice job, Marina. All right, ooh, illustration. So this uh, is illustration, print design, and this is an expedition exposition at the National Century Library in Florence. I love mm. Florence. It's the best. Ooh, oh, look at that. Let's get in there. Wow, I didn't even notice oh, wow. that at first. I thought it was just an interesting type design, but it is an interesting type design because it's words within a letter. Oh, yeah. Interesting. So do they all say aggregazione? Interesting. Every single letter is made up about out of one word. Yeah. Wow. I'd love to see the words change for each letter so that it was something related to the letter. Mm. That would be really, yeah. that'd be nice. Cool idea. This Very is awesome. Cool. Yeah. All right. I think we can do another one. Sure. This is branding, and this is for Massimo Sbrana. Cool. Optical mineralogy and petro. Petrography, a thin section, is a laboratory preparation of rock, mineral, soil, pottery, bones, or even metal sample for use with polarizing petrographic microscopes. Mm. Whoa! Oh, crazy. This is cool. Wow. Whoa, this is rad. Yeah. How cool. Ooh. Although I feel like the logo is a little bit fussy. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if there's a way to make the logo reflect more the idea of what's on this plate. Mm -hmm. Because I think seeing the cross section of that is so cool. I'd want to see yeah. it as a logo. I'd say, yeah, maybe simplify a few things. Yeah. 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 Super cool, Marina. Thank you so much for yeah. sharing your work with us. It always takes a lot of guts to put your work out in the world. So this yeah. is awesome. Really nice job. Our next, uh, our next portfolio is Ori Lockhart, and Ori Lockhart Design is a graphic design in graphic designer in Glasgow in the United Kingdom, and the focus is on graphic, editorial, and digital art. Amazing! Cool. All right, so where do you want to start? Oh, um, anything in particular? I'm interested in the first one again. This I don't know. one? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. You're like yeah. I like the first one. <laughs> yeah. You are so funny. Uh, on oh. guard editorial. Wow, I like the cool. contrast between the black and white and the pink type. Me too. This yeah. is super fun. I love this. Ooh. I also love the imagery. Yeah. That there's a little bit of motion to mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Wow. So cool. Nice. Yeah. Nice. These are a set of two double page spreads in my own photography for Bella Houston Fencing Club. Oh, very nice. Yeah, great job with yeah. the text as well, just uh, using justified and mm -hmm. everything. Yeah. I want to see more. Yeah. I think that's my that's my biggest uh, like regret is that I want to see more, Ori. <laughs> so do Give a whole, more. do a cover, <laughs> yeah. do a few more spreads, and I mm -hmm. think that that's going to be a really strong project. Yeah. Yeah. Super. All right, well, let's go to the next one sure. since we're just going to okay. go through, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> this one is called Purple Thursday Editorial. All right. Cool. Oh, it looks like there's some hand lettering here. Interesting. Oh, very cool. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Especially with that. That's some Voodoo Val lettering right there. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Purple Assessments Creed. Enter the dark, mysterious world. Hmm. Cool. Interesting. I don't know how this fits in yeah. with the other stuff. 
So it's a collective of design formed during the heady days of HND visual communications in Glasgow. Okay. So with fellow students. Okay. It's so it could uh, be all over the place where there's like a mm -hmm. lot of different focus and a lot of different things. I feel like mm -hmm. this tells me a whole different story about a magazine than what is on the inside. Right. The inside feels more narrative. Whereas yeah. The, the cover is. Yeah. More the cover is really dramatic. Yeah. 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 So I want there to be like. If the cover's dramatic, I think that either the inside should reflect that drama mm -hmm. and have the same kind of tone to what stories you're covering, or if you right. want to cover stories that are more editorial, then I would change the cover to match. Yeah. 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 Because they don't, they kind of conflict right now. Mm -hmm. Cool. It's nicely done, though. Yeah, really nice. All right, now what? Let's see, what is the breaking news? <laughs> breaking news? What is That's breaking news? We're like, oh, yeah. what's breaking news? Whoa. Flawless breaking news. So this looks like these are screen grabs from the, uh, I think it's layout for graffiti, graphic design, and film. Okay. So it's kind of like editorial, but flat. It's telling a story yeah. about film. Super. Huh. Interesting. It's a very cool idea. Yeah, very cool idea. Yeah. All right, well, let's look at one more. Let's see, maybe we'll look at this periodical cover design. Sure, yeah, that sounds interesting. Cool. Vogue. Oh, it's like every single one. Oh, just two. <laughs> I'm like, it's like every <laughs> single magazine ever. So again, yeah. I think that Ori, there's a lot of potential to show an idea if you can further it. And mm -hmm. the idea, I think the concept is good to show different ways to show editorial. And it looks like you're you're looking with new magazines taking up maybe old topics. Mm. So yeah, 18th and 19th century paintings with contemporary magazine layouts. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I think that the topic is good. I yeah, think I go it's further. just, yeah, yeah, go further mm -hmm. and show more because right now it doesn't feel fleshed out enough. So mm -hmm. again, I think it's a good idea, but you got to take it further to make it, you know, validated. Yeah. Awesome. Well, this is great work, Ori Lockhart. Yeah. Thank you. And Marina Sprana, thank you so much, both of you, for submitting your portfolios. It takes a lot of guts to do that. So congratulations. And thank you, Stephen, for reviewing them with me. Yeah. This is so great. Cool. cool. All right. Well, we've got a little bit of time left. I think we've got about 15 minutes. So cool. awesome. just enough time for Steven to take a look yeah. at some additional spreads and cool. show us all of what he can do in this last moment of nice. exhilaration and phenomenology. Yes. Oh, you can take your helmet off, by the way. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If you want to. I mean, you yeah, can keep it, it on for the rest. This is I might awesome. take it off. Yeah. It is pretty awesome. You're like, I like it. I know. Um, Barbara wanted to keep hers. She's like, I'm oh, yeah. keeping mine. And I'm like, you can't keep it. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so great. Cool. Now looking back at this, I don't know. Oh, I love this spread. I don't know why that brown was here. <laughs> just the cover. I oh, think. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. It would just be the paper color. Oh, Ori, you're there. Yay, you're welcome. Uh, we were so happy to review your work. Yeah. Same with you, Marina. Thank you. Cool. So oh yeah, on. we left yes. off at Dear Reader. Don't yes. read. Yes. Again, it's Ulysses. What is his uh, full name again? Ulysses Carry On. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Ulysses Carry On. He's a great so uh, conceptual artist um, in the 1970s, I believe. So good. Yeah. There's a lot of like amazing stuff. Um, he kind of had this like manifesto declaring that he was a writer in mm -hmm. the beginning, mm -hmm. um, and he then wrote this thing where it was like, um, it was saying that writers don't write books; they write texts. And then he made this movie into conceptual art and just I love does it. like all these crazy it's things. It's so yeah. true. Yeah. They don't write books; they write texts. That's yeah. I love that. Well, it's like the difference between fonts and typefaces and mm -hmm. letter forms, you know? Yeah. It's just, there's such a deep conversation in there that it's very similar, especially when you're talking to the typographers. Right. They're like, we design fonts, <laughs> not type. Yeah. Type is what you do. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so good. 
And so here, uh, I decided to use a two column to match the sort of mm -hmm. spread I love situation. it, yeah. Um, and it then... feels so right. It's almost <laughs> like there are postcards in their backs of a postcard below it, you know? It's yeah. got this like naturally good associative feeling to it. <laughs> This is great. Steven, you're just really great to watch work because you have such a good process. You're very thorough and you really know what your topic is that you're designing, where you can explain and like give reference to mm -hmm. what each piece of work is as well as why you're using it. So I think there's nothing more important than understanding your understanding your topic. Yes, do research. Do research, <laughs> yes. Yeah. All good designers are good strategists. Oh, and Beck Nelson says, don't forget to save your awesome work, Stephen. Oh, OK. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you need to command S there. <laughs> yeah. I, I was like, OK, yeah. You're like, OK, I will. Thanks, Beck. <laughs> Beck for the win. <laughs> yeah, hashtag save life. <laughs> save life. Yeah. We always have someone out in chat that's like the good reminder of, ah, oh, the save alarm is going off. Don't forget. <laughs> it's so important. Yeah. Now, actually, looking back, uh, I yeah. wonder if um, if I, these bars correspond Maybe. to the colors of the pictures. Oh, I love this, Stephen. Great idea. Yeah, so am I. Yeah, because it brings a little bit more energy to the page. Yes. Totally. So then Look this at that. Yellow. Stephen Zoo, he's 22. Yeah. Da, 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 da. So are you. So are you. <laughs> it's like, who? <laughs> You know, the proverbial you. <laughs> so good. Ooh, yeah, that canary mustard. It's canary getting in mustard. there. I love this. You've really pulled out like the imagery that correlates with the colors. This is great. Yes. I think that's all. I don't know. You're like, is uh, that it? Only like yeah. 100 pages? No big deal. <laughs> No, it's fun. It's it fun. Is fun. Um, when you have a passion project or something, it's just um, you know you totally. Well, passion sort of, it's becomes sort of life. Like your, yeah. Yeah, and it's kind of like your zen thing to do. Um, yeah, you know. find all the little details and like yeah. yeah. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for this to be printed on that nice milkweed, very thin newsprint uh, yes. paper. Are you gonna find it for me? <laughs> yeah, and I'm gonna sew only two copies. That was okay. our agreement in the beginning. I'll sew okay. one for you and one for me. Yeah. And by the way, I'm gonna cheat because I have a sewing machine, but oh, I can set it okay. to like um, a really wide thread, so I can like do uh, what it looks like to be. Okay. Bio. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. You just send me some paper, and I'm gonna stitch it up. Okay. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> So good. Hi, it's Kalu Arts. Welcome. You're just in time to see the end of Steven's show. Uh, we are on with Oslin and Beck in uh, about 10 minutes. We'll be on. Yeah. And she'll be here with Gus Martin. Oh, and Jan Eric. Hello. Welcome. We missed you all day. Where have you been? Tell us exactly where you were. We want to know. Monier's asking, what do you consider when you choose fonts and colors for your project? So yes, uh, fonts is mostly just kind of what fits the topic, mm -hmm. I think, uh, for what I'm doing this in this publication. It's sort of talking about uh, modern art. So I kind of chose uh, the main typeface was um, Cinetype, mm -hmm. where they, you have these sort of jagged edges um, and kind of have this really modern quality to it. Yeah. Um, balancing that with a traditional grotesque uh, sans serif, which is um, the founder's grotesque um, here, if you can see, or not here, um, uh, somewhere. The uppercase, yeah. Yeah, uh, here. So it's a very nice um, traditional sans serif. Um, very nice. Has a really good contrast with this one. Um, and then for the quotes, we're using uh, GT Sectra, which is a nice serif mm -hmm. um, to again differentiate it's um, itself from the other ones. Yeah, it's got so. some really nice like calligraphic strokes to yeah, it. It yeah. really feels like they took the integrity of, you know, specific swashes and mm -hmm. kept them in the font when they were creating that. Good decisions. Yes. Cool. Really nice work. Gosh, I love this. And then the colors are derived a lot from the imagery that you are working with. Yes, all correct? these bars, I yeah. kind of color picked it into the from the, from the pictures mm -hmm. themselves um, to to just uh, again uh, so that you know kind of 
which one is which, mm -hmm. even though it's pretty clear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So this is kind of where we got to here. And so now I think I might just do like an end note um, here mm -hmm. um, to include our credits and everything. Okay. Well, you better do it in the next six minutes. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, pressure's on. <laughs> yeah. That's right, chat. The tables have turned. You guys had challenges. Now Steven has a challenge. Yes. <laughs> we'll show him. <laughs> Just kidding, Steven. If you don't finish, <laughs> we'll still love you. <laughs> yeah. uh, so great. Oh man, Grand Freud is like so much inspiration from yeah. all those amazing creators. Yes. I think that's the thing, especially when mm -hmm. you're choosing a passion project, pick something that's gonna inspire you because if you're gonna work on it for a while and it's you know your choice to work on it, Make it worth working on. Yeah, and that could mean sure. anything that you're interested in, whether it's, you know, Dragon Ball Z or, you know, collecting cars or protein shakes. Who knows, man? Who knows <laughs> what people are interested in? Yeah. Now I'm just looking at the walls and what's around. I'm like, I know. <laughs> protein shakes. <laughs> I had one earlier. Oh, yeah. They're all right. <laughs> <laughs> Silly, I made him laugh. <laughs> it's still sitting there, half half drank. I'm like, meh, oh. not really into it. I just kind of wanted like a milkshake, but that was as close as I could find. Right. <laughs> oh, Final Fantasy, Warcraft, yeah, all the things. Or modern art. I mean, we could actually do something, you know, educational. <laughs> Monir said, "Thank you for your answers." I'm trying to make this as challenging as possible for Steven Zhu by distracting him, and, <laughs> you know, so he doesn't actually get this completely finished so we can oh. be like, ha ha ha. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I feel like you're already gonna finish it. <laughs> uh. Yeah, um, for those of you also asking like inspiration stuff, like a lot of these artists I would encourage um, you oh, to yeah. look into, so. Yeah, and if you, if. It's a very long list of artists, so I would say the best thing to do would be to replay Steven Zhu's uh, last one of the last three days sessions yeah, because we, he like, brings up a, a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, we them. can go through. Let's yeah, let's show everyone. Yeah, I so, love this. The full preview. Yeah, we. Yeah, I guess this might be our cover then. <laughs> I don't know. This is our cover. Well, out of the four covers that we created, yeah. even the canary mustard, yeah. which we loved and then we didn't anymore. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> this is Stephen Zhu's phenomenology zine. Go, yes. Stephen. <laughs> so yeah, cover here, um, nice simple cover, um, and then we have like a forward, beautiful, um, which just like introduces anyone flipping the book. Like, what is this about? You mm -hmm. know. Um, why I thought it was important to, you know, even publish this, you know, print it out. Yeah, completely. Yeah. It's wonderful. Yeah. And then we have a little table of contents, kind of make it fun still um, with that yellow, mm -hmm. even though we decided not to go with that Yeah, cover. it's canary mustard. That's not yellow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, we'll have to adjust the ta page numbers to actually match. <laughs> yeah, of totally. Course. Um, we just kind of made, made this up. Uh, and then our first section um, is uh, the early investigations. Yeah, with those cool of. pull quotes with the extra mm. ellipses. I like that yes. to connect them. Yes. Um, and then we have jumping into our actual like early influences, the two artists, uh, Robert Irwin and uh, Donald Judd. Uh-huh. Uh, Beautiful. One West Coast, like art, uh, light and space, and Donald Judd is like sort of minimalist, like mm -hmm. group from the East Coast. So cool. Um, doing similar things uh, theoretically, but um, different ways. Right. Um, similar era, similar time. Um, and then we have our next section, which is the philosophical grounding of it. Um, we talk about, again, a brief introduction um, and then kind of jumping into a few uh, philosophers themselves and like key points of like what um, I got out of it. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of it, a lot of this content is like self-derived, like it's my read into their work. Yeah. Um, so it might not be like 
agreed upon for everyone, but I think this is like what I got out of it. Out right, of it. Yeah, and, I like um, that. This, it's a personal, you right. know, depiction of mm -hmm. what you're. Yeah. So again, back into in. you know, this journal is just really something that I wanted to share with other people. Mm -hmm. Like this body of research that was like really important to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I love this, Stephen, and we are we are just wrapping up here, so we've got about. 30 seconds left before cool. we, so maybe just, like shoot through these pretty quickly and yeah. then we're gonna say goodbye to everybody and welcome on Ozzy and Buzzbot. Yeah. This is amazing work. Um, you did technically finish, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie, because you did get the end notes in there, so high five. Yes. Killing it, cool. killing it here with Steven yeah. Zoo. Oh, yes. Thank you so much for being with us this week. Yeah, it was so you. lovely to have you and such a joy to watch you work. Great Thanks process. For having me. Yeah. Um, everyone, stick with us. We have Ozzy up next with Gus Martin, and uh, yes. check out Steven Zoo's work because that finishing project will be up on Behance shortly. Sure. <laughs> Bye, yeah. guys. Bye. -bye.